This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so we got... We have G Depp. Okay, so he is back from jail. Uh, he came out today. 14 years. They gave him clemency. Killed somebody, though. So, you know, he's home. Did his time. He admitted to killing somebody. He put himself in jail. I can kind of respect that in a way. Like, he wanted to pay for his, his crime. It was random, too. He was just riding around on a bike and shot somebody in the head randomly. So, obviously, this guy is not right in the head, bro. Um. Anyways, he's he's home. I guess they're showing. Oh, yeah. he's Okay, so he's back on Instagram. He's on Instagram 15 years. All right. Well, we'll see. Back in 1993, the then 18-year-old rapper tried to rob someone at gunpoint in East Harlem, New York. The victim was later identified as 32-year-old John Henkel. All right. Well, he's back home. Rod Wave beat his gun charge case. The police admitted that they did the investigation wrong and falsely charged him, so he's out of jail. Then we got man goes viral for getting ghosted after a girl attends Money Bag Yo Rob 49 video shoot. I don't know what this is. Uh, I'm at Money Bag Yo Rob 49 video shoot doing what? Just looking for a cute wearing chains. I don't know why this person's going viral. Man's down bad right now. Don't get played. Letting your girl hang out with these rappers. She's a goner, buddy. Then we got Mano talking about Diddy. Okay. He's basically caping for Diddy. Maybe Mano went to one of them parties and got a little freaky himself. Making these accusations. You got some dude named Lil Rod. First of all, that's oh, that producer. should be a... Pause on his name, like <laughs> nigga named Rod. Little Rod. Like, <laughs> what? that is funny. That name is super flagrant. <laughs> That's pause. Do you think it's like a, a agenda to destroy popular? This is what black? I'm saying. And if you know anything about, you know, the '60s, and I hate to get all like this, but if you know anything about the '60s and what they did with black leadership and all that, these were some of the tactics, right, to destroy you. Basically, they, they divide and conquer, like J. right? J. J. Edgar Hoover. There you go, yep. right? All right, so Mano's trying to make this like, oh, no, nah, it's a conspiracy to take down Diddy. Nah, man, some people actually do messed up things, bro, okay? Diddy is inspirational to the community, and yes, we can never take what he did for music. But if he's doing any of this stuff, and he has so many people, cases against him, and yeah, Mano went to maybe one or two parties, but Mano... You ain't popping enough to be getting invited to any of these parties no more, okay? You are now a radio host. You had one song. That was it. And you stole Troy Ave's chain during a shootout. You're a clown now. And you kept it. <laughs> like, come on, man. I liked, I liked Mano a lot before that whole Chano thing came out. I was like, you know, at least he was respectable. That took everything away. Anything he ever did. Any jail. Anything. The chain thing was so corny. All right. We got Dame Dash. Okay. And he is starting a label. I like the name of it too. Blue Rock. Okay. Expands Blue Rock record label to a new division in the Midwest. Uh, launching Blue Rock Indie record label division. Plans to sign multiple artists in Indianapolis and Gary. He must have hooked up with someone out there that has a lot of artists. Um, all right. So, yeah, that's what's going on right now. I'll check you guys in the next one. This is Jordan Tad with JT News. Peace.